Let's take a look at the new render mask feature inside of V-Ray 3. So I've just finished my rendering of the car, and I noticed that I'd like to make my chrome material a bit shinier, and I'd also like to make the rims match the car paint. So the first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and make some changes to my materials. We'll up the reflection here on the chrome. And I'll copy the paint color into the rim color. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select the objects that have the material changes. And if I hide my frame buffer, you'll see that I've got the chrome selected. And let's add these rims as well. Now if I open up my render dialog, you'll see under the V-Ray tab, we have a new feature called Render Mask. Inside of the dropdown, there are a few different options we have to choose from. The first one is Texture, which means that we can use a black and white image to control the areas that we want to re-render. Selected, which is what we want in this case, so it'll re-render only the selected objects. An Include Exclude list or we can actually choose the different layers that we want to render. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and choose Selected and hit Render. And you'll notice that as my buckets finish, they're only updating the objects that we've had selected. And to make it just a bit more obvious, I'm gonna go ahead and clear the frame buffer. And I'll render it again. And now you can see that the render mask is controlling exactly the areas that we wanna have re-rendered. And the last thing that I want to show you is that if I flip over to my alpha channel, my alpha channel is correct as well. So that's it. Uh, we think that Render Mask is going to be a real uh, good addition for Artist Workflow and V-Ray 3. Thanks a lot.